Hello guys and welcome back to the part 2 of this uh, game of FTL I suppose, playthrough, whatever you want to call it. So let's get right back to it. Where we are, we've got me at the helm, we've got Swamps on the shield, we've got Ken Dodd and the gun room, uh, weapons room. We've got Kozar in the O2 room and Tsai Heng or Tsai Yang, however you say his name, in the engine room. So let's continue. Where should we go? I'm gonna say here. Uh oh, I'm low on fuel. Here's the an automated rebel scout was visit positioned within the nebula to warn you of your passing. The ship starts to power up, it's FTL. If it gets away it will no doubt warn the fleet of your position. Quickly! Power up! Should take out the drone quicker. What am I doing? Why did I take so long to do that? I'm an idiot. Ship breaks apart, and you f feel relief in the knowledge that you will hopefully still be one step ahead of the fleet. One fuel, that's good. One missiles. One missile. And 21 scrap. And lots of fire. Uh, quickly, fight the fires! My ship took a bit of a battering. Top, let's go back to the helm. Swamps, go repair the doors. Oh, O2 is on fire. It's not good. Quickly, quickly. Right. Okay, Dob Plus, go and help. Let's get these things back online. Are you two? Oh, crap on, a, crap on a stick. There appears to be multiple fires. Plus, you go up to the helm. Okay. I can't. Okay, the fire's not out yet. Okay, I think the fire is out. I think. There we go. Okay, there we go. It's fine. Should be repaired pretty quickly. Ah, look at it go. No time. No time at all. Right, now I'm gonna remember where these people go. Ken Dodd is the weapons expert. Let's get some more power into the oxygen. Right, Sai Yang is the engines. Kozo is the O2. Swamps is the shield. Ken is the missiles, so that's all fine. Set the O2 down again. Well, down to one. Let's. Oh crap. Can you go there? This is an easy battle. A flat market weapons trader spins you a tale of dangers in the nebula before pushing his wares. Ah, oh, I wish I could purchase the unknown weapon. Be cool. Damn, lack of scrap. Um, that guy is pretty damn well armed. Ignore it. Otherwise, 
guys, I'm gonna die. And I'm out of fuel. That's not good. You never see. Glance out the windows, but the only thing to, to greet you is more clouds and silence. And I have no fuel! Distress beacon. So now I have to just wait. And keep doing this. And the distress beacon attracts people to me, but it also is more likely to attract attract enemies. And while I'm here, the fleet, there you go, you detect a mantis ship approaching and hack into their comm channels in here. Hope they put up more of a fight than the last Federation ship. This has been a disappointing day so far. Looks like they're not here to help. And this is the problem with the distress beacon. Right, so I want to get their shields out. Weapons and weapons. guys are pretty good fighters so oh crap on a stick yes that's good yes screw you for fuel yes I can leave now 37 scrap, that's not bad. Now let's get this place repaired. I need to repair my hull really badly. So hey, you're the engines. Swamps, you are there. Alright, everyone's full health. So let's jump here. You arrive at a quiet spaceport and immediately hailed by another ship at, the, at port with a once in a lifetime deal. Two fuel f four missiles. Sorry. I cannot afford that. I really need to up my shields. But now I need more power. Oh, I bet this store has something awesome in it. Now that I just spent that money. Give you more scrap. Do I have anything to sell? Hmm, my hull missile. 37, so that give me 49. Oh, 49. That's, that's just mean. But what I can do is fix a bit of my hull. Right, this is not good. Not good at all. This lack of fuel is going to get me killed. Random sh station, there was nothing interesting. And now I'm going to get stuck at the exit point, unless there's a ship here. You arrive at the sector and are greeted by a science vessel waiting over the beacon. They hail you. We find ourselves low on fuel and have a proposition. A science vessel? They would most likely have awesome things. Why do I have no fuel? You did the Mantis ship approaching. Oh, it's the same one as before. And they're prepared for a fight. Oh no, my missiles are pretty damn low. So let's take the missiles off and raise the shields. See, let's do a mixture. Alright. Now you're ready for a fight. Oh yeah. Leave behind a substantial thing of scrap. Four fuel, that's good. 25 scrap. That's also good. Because we need to buy some 
power so that I can get that up and running. And keep my shields online as well at the same time. Alright. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to last incredibly m long at this, or last much longer at this rate. Basically just scraping by with uh, as little fuel as I can use. I mean I've got fuel, uh, four fuel at the moment, that's not too bad, but now I'm low on missiles. And my shield is... shields are not amazing, I've only got two shields. Which as you can see when I'm in a fight, get taken down pretty damn quickly by a well-armed ship at least. So, let's jump again, go to the next sector. I'm going to go slug, pirate. I'm going to go for the slug. I don't think we've seen the slugs yet in this playthrough, so. The Nevia is home to the telepathic slugs. They'd sell their own slime for a crate of scrap, but they much prefer just to take it. Uh, I may regret this decision. Oh, it's a nebula. Oh, good. You arrive near a distress beacon signal. You track the distress beacon with difficulty to one of the seven moons of a planet hidden in the nebula. As you drift closer, you are contacted by a slug maroon on the moon's surface. I shall join your crew. Say, why well, has three S's? I don't know. I, if you can answer me the simple question, how many moons are there in orbit here? Oh crap, I wasn't looking, I wasn't paying attention. I think it was seven. Yes! Awesome, I now have a slug on board. Willow. What is the slug's thing? Telepathic powers reveal rooms and life forms even when sensors are down. Awesome. He's going to be quite useful. Uh, where am I going to put him? I think he goes on the door control. I think. Also, I've got a nice crew building up now. Right. Because of my lack of fuel, I'm going to have to keep moving forwards. Oh shit. Oh shit. Right. A slug ship, a rogue you suspect, approaches, but when he sees your federation, he thinks better of the sneak attack and fires everything he has. Oh crap. Oh, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be so bad. Right, I'm gonna need my missile here. Missile, take out the shields. Weapons, weapons. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna so die. <laughs> I need more power so I can up the engines a bit more. Really? See, that took out my shields basically. on it if I can keep his come on no <laughs> it's allowing his shields to come back up a bit oh, that's terrible come on uh, you have bested us will you accept what is in our stores in exchange for our lives um, what's in their stores? I mean, that could be could be awesome. Could be something really, really cool. But if I destroy them, I'll get more scrap. But I'm gonna let them live. Two fuel, one drone part, twenty-one scrap. Uh, yeah, that's not amazing, but it's not too bad. It's better than us dying hideously. We're gonna have to go to the store and repair our hull a bit. A huge slug teleports from nowhere onto the bridge. Before you can open fire, he spread his wares across the helm and is brandishing you things. Right, drone control. Yeah. It's okay, long range scanners, add additional info about nearby beacons. Reverse ion field protects your ship from ion damage, giving you a 20% chance to negate it entirely. Interesting. But I'm gonna have to fuel. 
and then fix I uh, kind of rare yeah, really do with some missiles okay I want to sell that and use the money to buy some missiles and repair as much of my ship as I can there we go we're in a much better state now much better so let's carry on I think for this one I can't remember how many galaxies there are in this but whatever I'm going to go since I went to the beginning of the fourth one in the last first episode I'm going to go to the beginning of the eighth one if there is eight I can't remember either this part of slug space is deserted or it's too dense for even slugs to detect your presence time to move on Slug captain hails in and invites himself aboard your ship to present a flask of something slimy. Now, most gracious captain, you must join me, please, in a drink to our alliance. Um, well, yeah. My captain's probably an alcoholic. You take a cautious gulp. It's foul, but it doesn't do any lasting damage. It's a thousand to one chance, but this slug actually seems to be trustworthy. He casually celebrates your newfound trust by repairing part of your ship and offering to sell you his wares. Oh, come on, he repaired my ship. Why couldn't he... Why couldn't that have happened before I sold all my, used all my money to buy stuff? Uh, sorry, uh, at least it's full now, I suppose. Right, let's get out of here. I don't have enough money to go to the store anyway, so... Okay, there's nothing here. So let's move on. Engi Zoltan. I can't remember what the Zoltans are. What are the Zoltans? I'm guessing they're pretty tough though. Oh, I'm gonna go for Engi. You've arrived at Engi space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times for these robotic life forms, but they're usually willing to help. Ah, robots. That'll be fine. They're programmed not to hurt humans. Well, they are in cartoons and stuff. I feel damn it. The trust beacon's light is the only movement. Damn it. I'm quite close to the beginning. Oh crap. The ship approaches. The ship approaches. They hail you saying, Need some fuel? We'll prepare to dock and help. As they approach you, detect weapons firing up. It seems their attentions are hostile. Ah, oh, you bastards. You're going down. You are going down. This is why I love burst lasers, because there's so many of them, you can cut through their shields. So let's take out their weapons. Eight missiles. Oh. I'm accepting that, I'm sorry. Oh, I need some fuel though. Damn it. I would like to have accepted that offer, but I need the fuel. And hopefully by destroying them I'll get some fuel. Yeah, two fuel. Awesome. And 55 scrap. Wow. Awesome. Right, what do I want to do? I want to... I want to... to, to I'm going to upgrade my evasion. I don't normally do that, but I think it could be quite useful considering my lack of shields of any incredible strength. So let's move on. Because again, we're low on fuel. Oh crap, I should have gone to the store and bought some fuel. Duh, idiot. Nice. Basically, the ship was dormant and I had to go and try and get some data off it or ignore it 
So I was able to pull all of the data off the ship, got the sector, and our map has been updated. And I got one missile, one drone part, and 29 scrap. Good times. sitting duck. Right, that's good, I've got six fuel now. Although I am incredibly close to the approaching enemies. Uh, you find a number of ships fleeing from a small space station. You hail them, asking what's wrong. Help! We're being overrun by some sort of giant alien spiders. Send the crew to help immediately. Giant alien spiders are no joke. Leave them alone. Hmm. See, the last time I did this, which is... Uh, it was actually the previous playthrough I did where um, my audio was complete bollocks. I did this and I lost... someone. Oh, was that this mission, actually? Because I've lost... I lost uh, Bill Doddy. So that must have been when I lost him. But there must be a benefit to this. So I'm going to... Your crew boards the station. Cautiously moving between corridors. Suddenly a man-sized arachnid bursts from a vent in the ceiling. Followed by countless more. You fight your way back to the airlock and are forced to leave bef before accounting for all the crew. Not everybody made it back. Damn it! Oh. Damn it! My engine's guy. Oh well, Mr. Willow. You can go on the engines. Damn it. That's just mean, playing on the, the fact that they knew I would want to see if it was something better this time. Right, you see a number of angry space stations and fleets nearby. Despite looking like piles of junk loosely tied together, they are actually a model of efficiency. They just lack a certain aesthetic emphasis in their construction. Okay. Apparently we're flying with Lawrence Sewell and Bowen. I uh, suppose not Lawrence Sewell and Bowen. Or got Quan. There must have been rich pickings for pirates around here up until war broke out. The pirate you encounter here looks worn down but hungry. You'll have to fight. Oh crap. Hmm. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? going to take one of the engines offline, put the missile on. The missile can attack the shield. Weapons. Weapons. Let's hope, because this guy is pretty well armed, he's got a big ass missile, and I hate the big ass missiles. Big ass missiles are putting in the ass. my shields. Yes, take down the weapons. Good, good. Yes. No, we will not accept your surrender. You dare attack my ship, I will take you down. Oh, the shield went down. Three fuel, one drone part, forty one scrap. Nice. And let's up that so now we can put power into the engines again. Now we want to hmm. We want to move here. I think. You overhear Mantis comm chatter. Agreed. Next ship is your turn. Good hunting. They don't see you yet. Attack the ship. Oh, um. Yep, that was a bad idea. <laughs> that was a very bad idea. I'm regretting that decision. Alright, press laser. 
enemies to take out their weapons. I've got a missile launcher, not good. Hmm. What do I do? So swamps, you definitely go. And Dodd, you can go as actually no. Kozai, you can go. The rest of you we need. No, oh, their guys are pretty well trained. Okay, we need you in there. Okay. Suck out the oxygen. this situation. Yes. One missile, one drone part, 36 scrap and breach bomb mark 2. Nice. However brutal that attack was. <laughs> right, so... I'm gonna need... You... No, 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 what are you doing? This way. What an idiot. So you two are going to have to come around here. You two are the repair team. I'm sorry. Please, please. There you go, there you go. Get out, get out. Yes, now we can flood the place with oxygen. And then repair everything. room is up. Whew. It's getting tough. Uh, I don't know if things carry on in the background while this is happening, but right, we need to put some more power there so we can... There we go. That should make us a lot harder to hit. Which is just good in every way. Kozar, go back to the O2. Dolpas, go back to the helm. You two, heal up. Sorry, uh, Dodd and Willow. I should really call you by your names rather than you two. Willow, there you go, back to the engines. And Dodd, back to the missiles. Wow, he's pretty well trained. 14% fudge. Fudge? Charge. 14% faster charge. Oh, Swamps is nearly giving us a shield boost. Third, oh wait, top plus is evasion plus seven. Nice. Right, let's go. So let's go here. And once you arrive, your screen lights up with warnings. The nearby pirates seem to have advanced attacking tools, and they have tried to shut down our engines. Your crew managed to keep them barely operational when you when you move into attack. Oh crap, that's taken down most of the evasion I just got. Okay. So, you little bastards are going down. Once my weapons are charged, obviously. Oh crap on a stick. Right. Let's get rid of the let's get the fire out. Let's get rid of their weapons. Their weapons are dangerous. Oh did you see that? That sounds good. Oh, see that, hear that. Whatever. Sound sight. What's the difference? Right. Yes. I won. Six fuel. Awesome. Awesome. With the pirate destroyed, your engines come online again. You salvage what you can from the debris. 63 scrap as well. 
That's awesome. Don't do that. And that. Yes. Our engines are powerful. It's good. Anyone damaged? Koza, you're down. This is full health. Everyone else is full. So I'll leave them two for the or those two for the moment to move that up and then Koza back to full health. Get back on the O2. Right. You arrive at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. You detect an automated rebel scout attacking a small refueling outpost. Intervene? Detecting the higher threat, the automated ship moves in to engage your ship. Oh, that's awkward. He's got cloaking. Why won't my weapons charge while that's happening? I mean, why can't it charge them and then launch them as soon as they get ready? I don't get it. Yes, come on, shield. You're holding. That's good. Weapons. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Damn it. Oh, that's good. Hopefully it should fire as soon as he comes out of cloaking. Yes. Wow, this guy's hard to hit. Go for the engines and the weapons then. Get hit on the engines then. It'll be easier to hit. No, of course, don't get hit on the engines. Again. Ah, oh, come on. Die. Seriously. Yes. Right. Let's go for his shields. Oh, he's um, cloaked, isn't he? I was wondering why it wasn't firing. Oh, why those weren't going up. Yes. Taken down. Three fuel, two missiles, 28 scrap. The outpost hails you after the scout destroyed. Thanks for the help. We've been harassed non-stop by those scouts. Take this on the house. Two missiles, one drone part, 42 scrap. Nice. I'm going to say that what do I want to do? I th think I might leave it for now actually. Jump to the next sector. Oh, we've only got one option. The civilian sector. I didn't look what the sector that was. Oh well. I think this is the seventh, but I may be wrong. Wasn't paying that much attention. So, once you arrive, your light, your screen lights up with warnings. A nearby pirate seems to have advanced hacking tools. They tried to shut down our engines. Your crew manages to keep them barely operational. Oh come on! Stop doing that. Seriously, it's just mean. Right. So. You holy crap. That's a ridiculous amount of stuff. <laughs> okay, we've got to take down their drones. The drones are gonna kill us. Uh oh, I think it's the end. I think it's the end for us. Oh no! Crap on a stick, that guy is ri it's ridiculous. One last explosion marks your fate. 
as your ship is torn apart. It's not a bad score. Let's see the stats. So we've got the Kestrel, several so Kestrel, I didn't bother to change the name. So the Dodo, so the C. My ship's my scrap collected, my crew hired. Uh, let's see, Dobplas. Pilot evasions, most jump survived. Eh, not bad. It's six to five. It's six to eight. Eh, fair enough. Ship best. I see. Right, one thing I want to do is have a look at the ship we unlocked before. Wow, that looks awesome. The launcher is outdated and weak but can still be effective. Aleto missiles. How bad beam. Slow but reliably powerful. Standard beam weapon. Beam does damage beam damage is reduced by one for every shield it passes through. Ah. Okay, I think oh we get these creatures as well. Zoltan are close allies of the Engai. Or Engi. Their innate energy is strong enough to power ship systems. Ooh, that's Ooh. Useful, although we can't get in a fight, maximum health is reduced. That'll be bad. Right. And augmentations. Unexplained technology creates a nearly impenetrable shield. Only the energy outburst from the FTO engine is powerful enough to recharge it. Energy outburst. Don't know if that means I have to do something for it, but. Whatever. So, um, I am going to call that an episode, and next time we will play with this ship and see what happens. This one's a lot better shielded from the looks of it, which is good. I'm a fan of shields, definitely, and yeah. So. I'm going to say uh, bye for now I suppose if you like the video please click like if you want to see more then subscribe and uh, I will probably put out another FTL video in I don't know two or three days what I'm thinking I'll do is that when I start a playthrough I'll try and put out an episode each day but then once I finish a playthrough I'll probably take two or three days break between them. It seems like a good plan and schedule to me. So uh, that's it for now. Um, yeah, bye bye.